I was really happy to be asked to be on the committee. I've known Gordon for a really long time when he used to appear in funny exhibitions I call the Admira exhibition and he used to raise money for other people and raise money for the Aboriginal cause. So he's been around for at least 20 or 30 years or uh, more uh, as the grey hair attests. But he's never been recognised to the true level uh, of his uh, talent and creativity and I think it's a, it's a mark of uh, art in Aboriginal Aboriginal art in New South Wales, I think that there are large numbers of Aboriginal people in New South Wales who still create and think and uh, ponder and uh, enjoy uh, art, uh, which is Aboriginal art, and it's true Aboriginal art, and unrecognised and invisible that it is. The other mark, of course, with Gordon is that he's consistently been politically involved through all those years, which I won't name and number, but uh, for quite a long time, and gathering this collection, I think which must be the, the only Aboriginal art collection by an Aboriginal artist in the whole of this country. Now, all of the work in it has people like himself and other people that are very important to us, very important to Aboriginal history, uh, of all history, not just to do with art, it's to do with very particular times in uh, New South Wales, it's to do with Aboriginal social movements, to do with the political movements. There are certain times here when we created our own first uh, Aboriginal uh, legal service, our own first health service, our own first Black Vienna, our own first television, Aboriginal television, and our own uh, first Aboriginal uh, arts cooperatives. Now these were all done by Aboriginal people ourselves getting up and doing these things. And the same with this collection of collecting us, not collecting the big names, not uh, for those people dying in a sea of dots. Uh, that art exists here, we don't have to look outside of here and uh, do the things that we need to do here. And so I think going through this collection, as I did recently, to uh, uh, document it and to value it, to check the valuation on it uh, for the next move, to move somewhere else to insure it and to sell it and put it into a nice uh, particular safe place as one unit. The number of interesting and important Aboriginal community members within this collection was just outstanding and how their artwork stood up to other art movements uh, in this country was just outstanding for me. It's one of the best uh, Aboriginal art collections in the country, uh, if not the best. And uh, I think I'm very, as I said, I'm very happy to be part of it. I'm very honoured in a way to be part of something meaningful for a change rather than putting on exhibitions for people to see champagne in front of and uh, invest in uh, until the market falls out of it, of course. Uh, to treat Aboriginal art as a commodity, it's better to see something where it has a social value and an historical value to us rather than to someone's investment portfolio.